Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PDC show on Broken Bonds video. Today's on Broken Bonds video, guys, we're going to be looking at the new Venomoth GX, which at first I thought was like, meh, I don't know about this card, man. I ain't feeling it. It needs two energy to attack. It's very niche. You have to use certain supporters to make it work. But honestly, this card surprised me, and surprisingly enough, Venomoth is actually not that bad of a card. Uh, Venomoth does have that Shinobi Master attack, so if you play either Janine or you play Koga, you have two different effects. Uh, the Janine effect might be the best of the two because it prevents all damage done to your Venomoth by basics. So, like, most tag teams, Zapdos, stuff like that, they cannot damage you, which is actually just insanely good. Most decks right now rely heavily on just all basics. So Janine can win you games alone if you just keep spamming this every single turn. And then you have Koga's Trap, which uh, makes your Venomoth do 200 damage, which will then in turn do bigger numbers so you can one-shot bigger threats. So Venomoth actually isn't that bad of a card. So before we get into this PCO video, guys, of course, shout out to the sponsor Card Cavern and TCG. If you are ever looking for any PDCGO codes, whether it be for Unbroken Bonds or for Team Up, uh, if you're still looking for bonds cuts, stuff like that, you can get them over at Cardcaver TCG. They also got the Pokemon GX boxes, like Flareon GX, Vaporeon GX, Alola Marowak GX. If you're also looking for trainer kit codes, elite trainer box codes for any set, you can get them over at Cardcaver TCG. When you buy something from Cardcaver, guys, of course, you can use code LDF and you get a 5% discount on the order. So, yeah, if you're looking for stuff for PCGO codes, uh, you get them over at Cardcaver TCG and use code LDF. So, yeah, let's go look at our list here. So... One of the main issues with Venomoth is you have to play certain supporters in order to make this card work. The two supporters we're going to be working with are going to be Janine and Koga's Trap. Both of them are not great. Uh, Janine's actually not like the worst card ever in hindsight. Look at the top four cards of your deck. Put two of them into your hand. That ain't actually that bad in all honesty. Uh, we can actually combo Janine with Makargo's Smooth Over and uh, guarantee something good, which that actually doesn't sound too bad actually. So... Janine is not terrible. And again, its effect does give Venomoth immunity, which is actually super good. Um, and then we have Koga's Trap, which can poison and confuse your opponent's active. This card is seen more play than Janine right now. There's other decks that are like playing a couple of these, just as like a disruption card. Uh, confusing your opponent is actually almost better than the poison effect, because confusing force your opponent to have to do some way to get around it, because they don't know if they can attack that turn. So Koga's Trap is actually pretty good. Um, and it does allow Venomoth to do 200, 210 with the poison. With a choice band, you can actually combo it with 240 damage, which allows you to one-shot Pikachu Zekrom, which is pretty powerful. So Venomoth can do decent things. It is a grass type, so it is unfortunately going to be weak to fire. So Blacephalon and Reshizard are going to just completely slaughter Venomoth. But again, with uh, the Shinobi Mastery effect, Reshizard might not even get an attack in edgewise on you, which is pretty strong for Venomoth. Uh, Venomoth, the GX attack, 10 card return, doing 60, shuffling your hand, your deck drawing 10 cards, not that bad either, 60 damage is not bad, if you get like a, a turn 2 off, you can one shot like a 60 feet basic, take an easy prize, get a nice big 10 card hand, which will most of the time guarantee you the combo. Now, since you are playing weaker supporters for your turn, we're actually going to be playing Zeb Strike it in the deck, we can use Sprint to discard our hand and draw 4 cards, this is going to be our like mini energy acceleration, or energy, <laughs> our supporter acceleration each type of card, we have a few ways we can manipulate our like weaker supporter engine we are playing Macargo, which can guarantee a card which combos with janine so it makes playing janine worthwhile and then we have Zabstrika, which can draw us a new hand of four so this could sometimes be good too to allow us to just keep digging through our deck to look for important pieces with Macargo, obviously allowing us to you know get anything we want with janine and that's pretty good uh, especially when you're needing certain energy or like a certain piece to the puzzle uh, there's other draw support. Obviously, Zorak GX comes to mind. Miss Magius you could use too, but Miss Magius gives up a prize card. I don't like Miss Magius in here. I think Zabstrika is probably the best way to go. So non-GX Pokemon gives up one prize card. Um, and uh, yeah, pretty much it just all centers around using Venomoth. We are going to be running Ditto. I got a 1-1 one -one Slugma line, 2-2 two -two Zebra. I still have one Lele for Wonder Tag. Uh, Kartana is something that can go in this deck too. Kartana does have a free retreat cost. You can also use Kartana on certain turns. Uh, you can also put a Buzzmosa in the deck if you want to. Uh, just a thought. Now we go into the items and everything. Now I do have quite a few ball searching cards. I got three Nest Balls, uh, three Net Balls, and four Ultra Balls. The reason I'm playing such a heavy ball search count is because, well, Nest Ball allows us to find Blitzels and Slugmas early on. Net Ball gets us our Venom Nets, but also finds us Grass Energy when we need them the most. And we only play seven Grass. I like having the seven instead of six. So having the Net Ball just allowing us to find the energy at the right time is really important. 
Uh, Ultra Ball, obviously, Trainer deck. I am just running one Pokecom. I like having Pokecom. Sometimes Ultra Ball you don't want to play because you don't want to get rid of anything in your hand. Trust me, it does happen with this deck quite a bit. So having the Pokemon communication allows us to keep digging. I got one Stretcher to get our Pokemon back. Uh, I am thinking of play playing two, though, because your opponent will sometimes target the Macargo. If they're not taking out the Venomoth, though, to be fair, they're not dealing with the bigger threat. So there is reason to, you know, maybe thick up the Macargo line. Maybe go 2-2 two -two Macargo, 2-2 two -two Substrika. Maybe 1-1 one -one Substrika, 2-2 two -two Macargo. It's up to you. Uh, I like having one switch in here. Um, now, my Stadium Split, I'm going Power Plant and Life Forest. Venomoth does not have an ability. Does block Lele, but Power Plant is just better. And then having Life Forest, you know, when they do actually damage Venomoth, you can heal it and then do Janine. So, going back in your turn, if they don't bump the Life Forest, you're healing 120 damage. So, it doesn't seem too bad of an idea. Uh, one Guzma, four Janine, three Koga. Again, Janine's more important than Koga, in my opinion. Just having the four Janine is good. Uh, we do have the Palpat to get our supporters back. Uh, you can play more than one Palpat if you want, if you just want to constantly keep spamming Janine all game. Just win the game that way. You can also run, like, Mewtwo in the deck. You can use Mewtwo with Sprint. Um, getting back your Janine, using Sprint, go into your Janine through Sprint. So that's another option. Uh, I am going 3 Lily. Terma Lily is still busted. And the most interesting thing you can play in here is Lieutenant Surge's strategy. If you're ever falling behind in prizes, if you don't get the setup quick enough with Venomoth, you can do Lieutenant Surge, play a couple supporters per turn, um, help you out a little bit. And I got my choice bands in the list, of course, just two of them. Uh, I need four DCs and seven grass. Seven grass does seem like a lot of grass to play. Because we have netball, you might not need seven grass. You can probably just cut it, go six grass, maybe throw in like a second Macargo or something like that because you have ditto. But I don't know. Uh, this is the list that I'm working with right now. I like having the extra grass energy. And uh, yeah, this is my uh, Venomoth deck. And uh, I don't know, man. This deck surprised me. So let's go show it off. All right, guys. Let's go get some games now with Venomoth. See how we do. Hopefully, we get to some good basic matchups. Uh, we're up against Greninja Zor. Interesting. I think Greninja Zork is actually a fair matchup. They do have Naganadel and Sharpedo. We can't really use the other Shinobi Mastery Effect. Maybe the Koga build is better because if we go straight Koga him, we do a lot more damage. So I don't know. We'll see. Uh, we didn't get the greatest starting hand though. We got a Venonat start with a Poke Gear and a Janine. Hopefully we can get some ball searches going here. Try and build up a board a little bit. So we're going to be up against Greninja Zork. I don't think this is bad. I think we can try and win this for sure. Hopefully things go well. Uh, draw an extra card. Why not? More energy, because I because I really need this much energy in my hand. Well, we'll go Poke Gear. See if we get a Lily. We do. All right, not bad. All right, we're only drawing I think three cards here. It's not the best turn one Lily, but we'll see what we get. We do find a Venomoth, but no Ball Searching cards or basics. A little unbelievable, but whatever. I guess we can we do ten card return, knock out the Carvana. Not the best start, though, on my end, but whatever. Not the end of the world. Uh, there's the Greninja Zork coming down. Will we lose this turn? I probably don't think he can... But he'd have to, like, do a lot here to knock me out. I'm pretty sure we're fine. There's a Lily for four. There's a Carvana coming down again. I still do need to build a Greninja Charpedo deck. All right, what do we draw? Another Venonet that keeps us safe. Evolving Venomoth. We can go here. I guess we'll play Janine first. And then we'll do 10 card return. Ooh, we found the DCE. So do we attach the active? Yeah, I think we do. I think we go netball DCE. Attach the active. We'll play the netball. Get another Venonat. And Shinobi Mastery for the knockout. And now he basics can't damage me, so his Greninja Zor cannot damage me. There's a Poke Gear. So that gets us Koga, another Janine. That'd be pretty hype. We'll see if this one Venomoth kind of carry us for a little bit until we kind of get things going. All right, Sharpedo coming down. How many energies will my opponent find? He gets to look at the top six cards of his deck. He found none? Ooh, that's huge. All right, we'll see the power of Janine and Co and uh, Venomoth here. Preventing my opponent from even damaging me is huge. And the fact he got no energy on Sharpedo means he can't really build up Sharpedo to attack me. Because Sharpedo can attack me when I do Janine. This is pretty big, actually, that he can't damage me. 
So as you can see, the Janine Venomoth combo is pretty strong when you get it going. Uh, turn two Venomoth Janine combos like is really good when you get a turn two Venomoth off with Grass BCE. It's a really good combo to get. It, again, it just takes some time to actually get there. Looks like my opponent's going all in with the Carvanas. There's a Darkrai Prism coming down. Does it get double energy? Ew, it does. Okay, so what do we draw? Drew another Lily. Our hand's really clunky, man. Uh, we'll do Poke Gear. see if we can get another Janine. We do. Hopefully off Janine, we can maybe get something else. Another Venomoth. Specifically, a Blitzel would be good, too. Um... I guess we take the Macargo and the Pokemon? Yeah, I think we just go Pokecon Macargo. I could get Slugma. I could also just get Ditto. Or I can get Lele for next turn, too. That could be an option. We can knock him out next turn, though. Probably. I think we just go Ditto? I really need to get some draw support going, but we do have Lieutenant Surge. Yeah. Okay, maybe I should have just held the Pokecom then. Whatever, that's fine. Yeah, we'll just knock him out next turn. We're just Shinobi Master him for a 140. I guess I didn't need to grab Lele. Yeah, I should have held the Pokecom. Whatever. I don't think we'll get Marshadowed here. We might. I mean, we do have a pretty fat hand. This is pretty good, though. Now, sadly, um, my opponent might be able to attack with a Sharpedo this turn if he wants. Does it prevent all effects of attacks? Prevent all damage. Okay, so he still could do Abyssal Sleep, and I could still go to sleep. Ooh, Ditto top deck. That's pretty good. Okay, so I think we just knock him out here with a Janine. That's our last Janine, too. That's fine. We can still do a whop ton of damage to Greninja's Orc with Koga, so that's fine. All right, what do we find here? Slugma, and I think we'll take the DCE. Play down Slugma. And we will knock him out with Shinobi Mastery. So he could Pistol Sleep me. It doesn't prevent effects of attacks. So if he wants, he could still put me to sleep, which is interesting. We do have Guzma in our hand, though, and Ultra Ball DC. So theoretically, we could still bring out Sharpedo. Maybe just knock out Sharpedo here with Venomoth. We, bought, we have both Venomoths built up. I think at this point, we can win the game. I don't know if my opponent can really... He'd have to get really insane. He could still Guzma Energy Switch... Dark Pulse, Knockout, Ditto, Slugma, or Venonet if he wants. But nope, he's going for the Abyssal Sleep. That's fine. It looks like we do go Guzma here. Let's see. I'm going to put that down. So it looks like we didn't need to use Lieutenant Surge in this matchup. So I guess we can Ultra Ball it away. I doubt we're ever going to use it. Considering we're so far ahead in the prize trade. We can probably just dump the Lieutenant Surge and probably just a Grass Energy. There's an Ultra Ball. One's getting rid of Ace Rolla and an Energy. Ace Roll is a really good discard because we can't ever one shot Greninja Zoark. Because of Guzma and Sharpedo's health, we can just knock him out that way. I'm curious to see if he'll retreat and go Bad Fang. Oh, he hits me with a Marshadow! Uh oh. Alright, let's see if we can get to Zebstrika here. We haven't played many Ultra Balls. Uh, no, we did get a Lily though, which is fine. No Guzma, actually. Hmm. This is pretty bad. I hope he. I hope he doesn't go for Abyssal Sleep. Dang it, he is. Alright, let's get double heads. Oh, no! Yo, that did not just happen. Alright, there's a netball. Okay, so unfortunately, we aren't going to get a knockout here. That's fine, though. I think we just go 10 card return, to be honest with you. Um, I think we'll attach to Lele. Ooh, pal pad. Let's do that. Let's get back those Janines. Got Ultra Ball. Ultra Ball away, Grass Grass. Grab the Macargo. I could get Zipstriker too, but we're going to get a big hand. We don't want to dump that all away. So yeah, let's just get a new hand. He might judge me. It's fine, though. We can't do smooth over, though, unfortunately, and guarantee it hard. But we're getting 10 cards. We should get a good hand here. Uh, somehow, we didn't get a Venomoth. We do have Stretcher, though, which I guess is fine. So we're mostly going to get KO'd here by Greninja Zork. We did get a Switch. So if we can draw a Venomoth, or well, well, we can Janine into it, actually. So if he just goes for Abyssal Sleep again and doesn't attack me with Dark Pulse, 
Uh, what we can actually do here is switch into Venonat. Um, pray that the Janine finds me a Venomoth, which it should. Actually, we can just Macargo. Alright, double to heads, double tails. Okay, this is like a really good spot. And there's an Ultra Ball. We can play that. We can evolve into Zebstrika. We can Ultra Ball away the Venonat and the Blitzel. Get ourselves the Venomoth. Slap that down. DC the Venomoth. Switch into it. Smooth over. It's okay, now this deck is flowing pretty well. We'll get another Venomoth and Life Force. Actually, yeah, we'll get Life Force. Sure. We gotta watch out for Black Market Prism Star. I gotta worry about that too, but that's fine. Uh, we'll do the Janine. Or we can take both stadiums. In case he bumps it. Yeah, I think we take both stadiums. Actually, no, we can just get Janine. Yeah, we can still get Janine. It's fine. I can hold it, too, if I really... I don't need to play it 100%. It's fine, though. And uh, we will Shinobi Mastery for the knockout on the Dark Rider. Moving four energy off the board. And we can't get damage by basics. And I think we have game here. Uh, if we had a Guzma, that'd be great. Just got to smooth over for Guzma to set up the win. It's fine, though. I think we're chilling. Yeah, he's going to just attack with Sharpedo. And Sharpedo has 100 HP. So this should be game. Unless he plays a Black Market Prism Star and makes it so that I can't get the Power Plant off. We should win here. And that's the strength of Venomoth against some decks that play a lot of basics. They can't really do anything. So we did get pretty lucky in this matchup. We also got lucky that we got double heads there. So I don't know, maybe Venomoth, if it sets up well enough, I think the deck is kind of fun. I honestly didn't expect the deck to perform this well. There's a treasure. He's probably going to go double Marshadow here, I'm guessing. No, Lele. Ooh. He could judge me. We do a smooth over sprint, though. So even if he black markets me, we still have game. So it's not a big deal. As you can see, though, when you get all this deck set up, it's pretty good. This deck is surprising me right now. I might just title that in the video, Venomoth GX surprised me. I honestly didn't expect Venomoth to perform this well. Even in a deck where they have multiple evolutions, like, I did not expect Venomoth to be this lit. I really didn't. And that's game. That is game. We'll just play a supporter, whatever. We don't, I don't want to slow roll, but... Yeah, Venomoth might actually be more lit than I thought. Honestly, I didn't expect the deck to play this well. We didn't get to use Lieutenant Surge, but when you're falling behind, Lieutenant Surge can get you set up. So, I don't know. I like that deck. The deck is surprising. Uh, Sharpedo Greninja, I do want to make a video on very soon, too. Uh, so, that's nice to see. And, uh, yeah, Clutch Venomoth surprised me quite a bit. See you guys in another match. All right, guys, let's go and get some games with Venomoth here. See how we do with the deck. All right, we're going to be up against a fire deck first. Definitely not a great matchup, obviously, because Venomoth is weak to fire. But again, if they're not playing many evolutions, like, they might just have, like, Salazzle. That's about it. Uh, we can kind of just maybe steamroll with Venomoth. We'll see how we do, though. Any fire matchup, not great for us. Uh, you know, we did wreck that Greninja deck, which is pretty good. But I don't know. We'll have to see how we do here. Uh, we are going to Mulligan. Probably looking like I'm playing Buzzmosa right now from this hand. But I'm not. It's a Venomoth deck. Um, Alright, let's see what we're able to start with here. Venonat and Venomoth. Alright. Our hand is not great. We do have Poke Gear though, which might bail us out. Maybe get us a Lily. I mean, even just, like, Koga would be fine. Just, like, Auto Confuse would be great. Um, we might have to, like, bail with Psybeam. It does start with Reshizard though, which is not a bad start for me. Because if we do get the Koka or Heads on Psybeam, we might be able to buy a turn. Not looking great, though. Uh, we actually get knocked out by Outrage. Because we have 60 HP. That's one of the issues. Venonat. Alright. There's an Ultra Ball. My opponent can also just go into, like, a Volcanion or Jirachi. And then we can't really slow them down. We can maybe do Janine. That's probably better to do Poke Gear. Might have to do Janine, though. If Poke Gear doesn't get us anything, we might, we might have to do Janine try and find us something. We don't have Marshadow in the deck or anything. There's no way to, like, get a new hand, unfortunately. Unless they Marshadow us. We'll see how this goes. Again, they might not have any way to really deal with Venomoth's uh, Janine combo, which is like really the only silver lining about maybe this matchup. But outside of that, we're kind of just screwed. We can two shot with a Choice Band, Shinobi Mastery, Janine combo. They're actually going to go straight for a Kiawe, which is interesting. They're going to flop a Power Plant down. There's a Kiawe. Alright, so we don't have Lele right now. We can play Life Force, though. 
I don't really care about this card anyways because he's gonna one shot me every time, so we can kind of burn life for us, which is good. Let's see. Can we get bailed out here? What do we draw? Okay, another Venonat buys us a turn. That's good to see. Um, guess we just play the Poke Gear and hope for the best. Hey, it finds us a Lily. All right, we're back in business. We are back in business. We get Lily for six. Uh, we do find a single Grass Energy. I don't know if I want to play it though and be active. Um, I think we'll get Ditto down. Try and set up Macargo. I might attach the Bench Venonat. I don't know. If I get heads on Psybeam, I'm guaranteed to hopefully live, unless my opponent has like a switch or an energy in their hand. We're like confirmed to live here, and we actually get a lot of value out of that because next turn we can guarantee the Janine combo with Macargo. So there's actually some value to do trying to rig with Psybeam. Because if he just has Guzma energy in his hand, he just knocks out my Venonat, and then I'm back to square one. I think we just go for it. The risk is Psybeam in the history of Psybeams, but let's see, do we get heads? Oh no, we confuse them. We don't paralyze. I thought that was paralysis. Whatever, I'm an idiot. Okay, whatever. This works too. For <laughs> some reason, I thought we paralyzed them. Alright, whatever. This is fine too. Confusion is pretty good, actually. Alright, let's see. They do have Guzma. Alright, well, now I'm glad I didn't attach the bench, because they did have Guzma energy in their hand. So they would have KO'd me. Uh, do they have any way to get a Volcanian? They do, and they're actually just gonna go for a knockout, uh, which I'm actually fine with, in all honesty. I am fine with this. Uh, they have to burn a Switch and a Guzma. Two ways they can get around Janine is through that combo. We do lose a Venonat, though, which kind of sucks. And we get a Venonat right back. Alright, beautiful. So we can play down Venomoth. We can Ultra Ball away. Probably Venomoth and Koga? I don't that's, or Ultra Ball, Koga, that's kind of risky, though. We can get Macargo. Smooth over for DCE, or we can get something else. I think we'll just get DCE here. So ideally, the best things to get is maybe DCE, obviously, and either a Blitzel or another Janine for next turn. Oh, another Janine and a DC. Perfect. Well, I knew that he was getting the DC, obviously, but you know what I mean. And uh, we will Shinobi Mastery for a lot of damage, 140. And now we can't get damaged by basic. So Rushy's Art and Volcanion cannot damage me. Actually, there's really no way he can damage my active this turn. He has to do another Guzma. Let's see if he has it. If he does Guzma me again, he can knock out Macargo, probably with Volcanion, which is worse because Volcanion actually does have a lot of HP. I can't one shot it with Shinobi Mastery with a Janine. I have to play Koga. Ah, oh, they found a Guzma, are you serious? And they have the energy. Bro, you gotta be kidding me. You have good to be kidding me. We only have one Guzma in the deck. We don't play Countercatcher, so this thing is probably gonna live for a while. I think not gonna cargo. Okay, that's a little annoying. We really need our stretcher. This is why I'm wanting to play two resty stretchers. Uh, we did probably Slugma though, so I guess Macargo is out of the picture for now. Uh, there's a Lily. Um, I'm actually just gonna have to do Janine, I think. Uh, red Grass. And... I guess the Zebra? I guess we can get DC. I'm not gonna evolve because if this guy somehow gets another Guzma. I don't know what to tell you. I'm just gonna hit him for 110. I don't want to evolve and then he has like just another Guzma somehow in his hand and then he knocks out Venonat and then I'm just stuck to a lone Venomoth. I don't want that to have happen. Or I don't want that to happen. Um, again, we can't one shot the Volk, which is kind of annoying. We don't have a way to do the extra damage. This thing is gonna kind of live, unfortunately. It's gonna be my choice ban. So if he like heals this thing, that's gonna suck. Unless we do Janine Koga. As long as he doesn't Guzma me here and knock out my other... I swear, if that's a Guzma, I, I give up because there's no way. Okay, good. I'm going to do Flare Starter. So, I'm not going to have a Volk again, though. We just need to deal with this uh, Reshizard. And the Lele. And the, we're not this out. We do have our okay wing condition on board. Alright. We do a couple things here. We can draw for six. 
keep the full art alive. Let's see what this gives us. There's Blitzel. There's a Nest Ball. That can probably just get us another Blitzel. And we have a Net Ball. That can get us Spin on that, sure. Why not? We can GX him too. Alright. It would be nice to get a Guzma knock this thing out. If he has, if, he has got one card in his hand. The odds of being an energy might not be too high. And uh, we do have Lieutenant Surge this turn. So we actually get to show off the Lieutenant Surge combo. Because we can drop Lele, go Lieutenant Surge, Guzma, knock out this thing. And do Janine in the same turn. So that's pretty good. So we actually have a pretty decent spot right now. Well, we might have prized her Guzma. I actually don't know if it's in the deck or not. Oh, my opponent drew a Lily. No, that's definitely going to get them the knockout with High Heat Blast. That's fine, though. There's Choice Fan on the active. There's an Energy. So we still knock out Reshi's art here. And if they actually can't get more energy in play, we might be okay. But again, we can knock out Janine. So as long as we did not prize our Guzma, we actually have a decent shot of potentially still winning. I think we just bring in the Venonat. Because we can still retreat it if we didn't get Guzma. Okay, so we can slap that on. We'll play the Lele first, just see if Guzma's in the deck. It is. All right. So we can show off why I like Lieutenant Surge in this deck. When you're falling behind in prizes, you gotta do this really cool combo. So watch, ready? What do I want to do first? Attach. We already did that. We can thin the deck. We should probably do that first. Nothing. Okay. Ooh, we can stretch her. I could stretch or get back a Pokemon and then Poke Comet first of Strike Us. Okay, well, first things first, let's do Lieutenant Surge. Second thing, let's Guzma this out. That's our only Guzma, though. The Rip. Thirdly, let's do Janine. Uh, there's a Strike and we'll take the Poke Gear. Maybe try and do our last Janine. And, uh, yeah, just like that. Shinobi Mastery for the knockout. And uh, all we have to do now is just figure out the rest of our route to winning. There's a Koga, there's a Grass, and there's a Venomoth. I don't know. The fact that he has two prizes left to take is not good. Obviously, we don't have another Guzma to bring out Lele. I don't know. This might not... I don't think we can win this at this point. Especially if he just gets another Rush Start build up here. But he can't damage me. Unless, like... I don't think he can kill Lele this turn. So he should be safe to live this turn. Uh, the odds of winning this game aren't that great, though, in all honesty. Dealing with this thing is not easy. He's most likely going to build up another Reshi's art here. And once I knock this out, if I don't get a Janine off, like even a Janine doesn't even knock him out. Like, do we even have a Janine in the deck? We do. Okay. There's a Kiawe. Let's see what they do. Again, there is insanely high odds they're just going to end up building up a uh, Reshi's art here. Oh, they're just going to drop a Dedene. They did have four Guzmas in the deck. Oh. We got lucky that they just dumped those Guzmas in, because that's obviously one way they can win, is by kicking out Lele or getting around the Shinobi lock. So they can Flare Starter. Only one energy, though. But again, it's not looking good. Even if I went for, like, Koga here, they can just Welder. They haven't played a single Welder yet. So yeah, we pretty much lose. I don't think we can win this. It's probably a little too late to win the game. Can't use Lieutenant Surge. We'd have to, like... He'd have to go to one prize, and we'd have to, like, Palpad, Lieutenant Surge, Guzma, Koga, the Lele, and win the game. I... That's not, like, out of the picture. I don't know. I don't think it's possible, though. Okay, let's Poke Gear. Koga. Palpad's in the deck. Oh, okay. I'd like to see that. Poke Gear. Okay, no Janine. Yikes. He has the energy, Fire Crystal, Fiery Flint. There's no way he doesn't have energy here. But it's not going to have a Double Blaze. So we have to do Janine this turn. Here's what we're going to do. Oh, I should have got back my card. Whatever. It did. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't really matter. We'll get Venomoth. We'll Zebra. Do we have our Janine? Oh, it's not in the deck. Oh. Oh, well. Never mind, dude. We just don't have Janine in the deck. It's just not there. Um, okay. So yeah, we came close to winning. I mean, I'm not. I'm actually kind of proud of what we were able to accomplish this match. Uh, I think we just take the L here. I think we just take the L. 
If he somehow just doesn't have an energy, we could pull off a win, but at this point, it's super unlikely. We prize rather Janine. I would have probably just went for sprint and then just tried to pal pad and then try and set up a win condition with Guzma on the Lele, but it's not going to happen anymore. He definitely will win here. Though we did come very close to winning this match, I will give it that. We were sort of close to winning. Uh, we just literally need one prize. Against the our deck, that is pretty impressive. Let me say, but I hate that. It doesn't only really say well played because we're doing an attack. Uh, we came close to beating a matchup we don't want to see, which is good. Volcanion is probably the biggest thing that hurt us there. If he wasn't playing Volk, we probably could have won the game because Volk just, it lived a hit from Janine and like we can't afford that. We're only taking one prize. So you can kind of see the trade-off of Venomoth, but again, we were able to come very close to winning that game. We weren't really using Zipstrika, which is surprising. So maybe thickening the Macargo engine is better than the Zipstrika engine, because again, we didn't use Sprint in like in this entire video, so I don't really know if you need the Zipstrika. But again, we showed off the strength of Venomoth, we showed off the Janine-Venomoth combo actually being pretty good, and we were almost able to beat a matchup that we struggle with most of the time, obviously being Fire, and we beat her. Be it a Greninja deck, we showed off the strength of like the combination of Venomoth and what it can do. Thanks for watching this PCO video, guys. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like on the video and don't get too subscribed down the road to reaching 5,000 subscribers. The uh, growth on the channel recently has been just bonkers. It has been insane. And that's the Venomoth deck. Venomoth surprised me. I don't know, man. The fact that I didn't like Venomoth at first, and the fact that it almost beat a Reshizar deck, it's kind of, in, it's insane, and it's surprising me. So I don't know, maybe Venomoth is actually decent, and maybe the way to play Venomoth is just play like a very heavy Janine engine, because Janine just seems to be the way to go with Venomoth. And I don't know, like, the fact that Venomoth is very similar to Jolteon EX, I don't know, man, maybe maybe just having like a very heavy Janine, Macargo, Mewtwo, Palpat engine is the way to play Venomoth. I don't know, maybe Venomoth is secretly good. Uh, but anyways, that's all I have for this video, guys. If you enjoyed, leave a like and uh, subscribe on the road to 5k subs. Make sure to check out CardCaverin TCG in the description below if you do buy anything from Card Cavern. Of course, guys, use code LDF. Get a 5% discount on your order. And yeah, I might revisit Venomoth in the future, and I might just try out a very heavy Janine build using Mewtwo and Macargo to just constantly do Janine every single turn with Shinobi. I'm looking forward to that. I'm probably going to do that in the future. Thanks for watching, guys.